Hey everybody, it's Steve Lennon. I'm going to show you a real quick way how easy it is to get this uh, outplay set up. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you come to your dashboard, when you get your account, all you have to do is go over to the top corner here and select this little icon over here. It's not going to have a graphic because you haven't put one in yet, but uh, go ahead and click on it. And then when you're going to, you're going to select settings and then go to settings and you're going to open up your page. When you go to your page, you're going to fill out the information as you see here. You know, your first name, last name, email, and uh, area, zone, time zone, and you're going to save it. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on, um, uh, uh, let's see, you go to calls, okay. Click on the calls tab and you're going to go ahead and assign a phone call number. Uh, through Twilio. It's going to have a diff different interface than what you see right here. You're going to allow, it's going to allow for you to go ahead and, and hook into a Twilio account underneath the underneath uh, uh, Outplay. And you'll be able to go find a number and you want to look for an area code first and then uh, it will pull up phone numbers for you to choose and you then you purchase a phone number, okay? Once that's done, then all you have to do at that point is just go ahead and set up the uh, 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 a couple more features. Like, uh, like your safety settings. So you'll click on the next one here called safety settings. We'll go ahead and click on that. And you want to go ahead and look at these safety settings and adjust them based on what your needs are. Okay. And, uh, and you can click tracking by default if you want. And, you know, uh, I recommend you keep under the 200 uh, calls. If you have Google, uh, if you have Gmail, basic Gmail, like you just got a Gmail number. If you have G Suites, you can go up to uh, 2,500 emails, but you have to throttle it, meaning that you have to start out with under 200, make sure that Google likes you for it, the Gmail suite likes you for it, and then move up to more as time uh, uh, moves forward on that, okay? And then uh, the next thing you wanna do is I want to show you another feature. Now that feature is right up here under do not contact in this safety settings. You can select here, and let's say, for example, you're calling uh, mortgage or real estate companies, and there's a franchise like Century 21 Beachside, let's say, okay? And that's the domain of a, of, a, of a website you went to. And every agent on that site, or a lot of the agents on that site, have, uh, have Bill Smith at, you know, uh, what do you call it, Keller Williams or whatever it may be, or Remax or whatever it may be, .com. Well, you don't want to be sending it to that particular, uh, go to hit those emails, normally because there are, there, it could be a problem for you in that it's what's called a catch-all email. So you can actually put the domain name of that particular website here, and then when it sends out emails, it won't send them out to that particular email client. Therefore, you won't get hit with uh, false negatives or, or Google thinking that you're spamming over there by sending out you know, a bunch of them to that place, and that way you're protecting yourself. So I also suggest that you uh, talk to... Uh, uh, talk to the folks over at Outplay and ask them some uh, further questions regarding this section. But you can just keep adding domains of, of ones that are like that, and you're going to protect yourself that way, okay? So let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so if you've bought more than one um, uh, instance of Outplay, then uh, you can add members and other people, and all you do is just click over here and select and then add that person's email. They'll get a notification. They'll be able to be able be able to be in the system and have their own instance to be able to do, make the calls and do what you need them to do. So that's that part. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so once you have, uh, I'm in the dialer section. I clicked on the dialer tab right here. And when you're in the dialer tab, if you've already created a number through the system that's a Twilio number, now according to what they've told me is uh, Outplay is not charging you extra for those Twilio numbers. You're just paying the same thing you would if you were to go over to Twilio and pay that dollar per phone number or whatever it is, and then you know whatever your calling rate is based on your location, um, it's like two cents a second, or, or, or yeah, two cents a, a minute, uh, in I think it is uh, in the United States and Canada. Other places I'm not sure, but still it's really really cheap. So uh, what that does is you'll be assigned a number. You only have one number that is assigned uh, for any account related to any instance. So if I'm a user and I have that number, that's the number I'm gonna use for that particular instance. Okay, and uh, an instance being a, a login profile. Uh, so you're gonna be able to have the benefit of being able to go in and have it all set up for you. You'll have your assigned number. And, uh, and then there's what's called an area right down here called a fallback number. And a fallback number is basically the phone number that you'll put in there so that when you're making outbound calls through the system, when somebody actually sees the call coming in on their cell phone, they'll see a local number, okay? And when they see that local number, it might be your cell phone or it could be your office line. So if they should call back that number, 
then it's going to call back into your office line because they're calling that particular number. That's why the, they call it a fallback number. It's a great feature. That means that whatever uh, Twilio number that you assign or you get, you're basically masking that number, and nobody ever needs to see that number. They're just seeing your localized number, whether it be your cell phone number. So if you're in the real estate or mortgage business, for example, and you're using this service, this platform, then it gives you ability to make calls using your cell phone number or your office line number or whatever number you want and people will remember that number and they'll save you based on that number and call you back on that particular number when the calls come back in if they if they ever come back in or when they do should i should say so that's how that works it's really really nice feature so let's go go on to the next thing okay so now i'm in the scheduling tab right over here i click on the scheduling tab and if you look over here there's a schedule that i created right here so you can add a new schedule by adding you can keep on adding more schedules different ones so this one i have set up i'm going to go ahead and show it to you i'm going to click on here and click on edit and then i'm going to show you it and then if you look right here i can go ahead and set the schedule if you hit the see how it pulled open and i've already pre-scheduled it for nine o'clock to six o'clock p.m Monday through Friday and then 10 to 5 on Saturday and then updated it and then I set the time the uh, the uh, zone that I'm in in my part of the country and that's how uh, how you do that it's real simple so let's go ahead and, and then make sure you save it okay update it so let's go ahead and move on to the next one by the way if you want you can go back and let's go ahead and update it and I think it should bring it back to the other page give it a second here okay so we'll go back to that scheduling you can add different ones, different schedules in here, more than one if you want to as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Okay, so now I clicked on uh, integrations and APIs. That What that does is it allows for you to, to hook or bring in content or leads or uh, information that's in this particular platform for the work that you do in this platform and push that information into other platforms such as a CRM, like uh, let's say uh, uh, all the different CRMs that are out there. Right. You can use Zapier to do that. Or what's happening is this company is working very rapidly to be able to deploy and add other integrations into here, which gives you a lot of power to be able to uh, uh, to be able to pass through information back and forth between the different resources you have available based on the integrations. One of them I hope they uh, integrate is Book Like a Boss. If you don't have Book Like a Boss, go ahead and look it up booklikeaboss.com check it out great service and uh, it's a scheduling among other different things that uh, that uh, it, it, it's really cool and if you're watching this video i will probably have my book like a boss inside the youtube video or other places just click on it and you'll get an experience of what the book like a boss is and how it works so you, and then you can go to book like a boss and get your own okay so the next thing is let's go ahead and go over to the chat client Okay, so I'm back. So what I did now is I moved over to what's called chat uh, and website tracking. So in this particular feature, up at the very top, you have the ability to go ahead and enable this by toggling it to uh, enable chat and also enable website tracking uh, enabled. So that will track this web form for anybody that uh, is clicking on a link inside an email and then they come to the, to the, the, the site and then they uh, start a, a chat with you. It will track all that information. Now, one thing you want to do is when you're in side of here and you're putting in a domain name make sure that you do not you do not put in an http or an https you just put the name of the actual domain in there so if it's billsmith.com that's what you put or you know flyers.com that's what you would put you wouldn't put https or http colon forward slash forward slash you know that steve.com or whatever it may be you would just put steve.com in there and then always come over here and click on the button to enable it or save it okay and then uh, down here at the bottom you have what's called email script what that basically means is is down below here is a script that you would take you would copy and you would put it in your wordpress instance or in a, your html website and that is actually the chat form that would pop up over on the for typically over the corner over here when you enable it on that uh, on the other site okay uh, what happens is, is if you don't know how to do that, you can always just quickly send it to your developer. And the way you do that is you put the developer's email address in here, and then you hit send, and it will send the script over to your web developer. And you just call them and say, hey, I sent you over a, a form. Can you install it inside of my website? You know, And that's how that works. So let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so I haven't taught anybody or shown anybody about this yet or done it myself, but this is what's called a custom domain. So um, you can have what's called a custom domain. So if you have a company called uh, bestsalesmaninthworld.com and you want that domain name, bestsalesmaninthworld.com, to be what's shown up at the very top 
of the page up into the the URL up in here for your uh, for your platform um, for this the outplay then you can go ahead and do that and all you have to do is, is follow the instructions here and I'm sure they're going to give you some more information on, on uh, you can read the instructions here uh, I when I do it I haven't done it yet but if I decide to do it I'll do a video and show you how to do it otherwise I'm sure if you just uh, when you're in the platform if you go down to the corner here and you hit have a question down at the very corner you can click on that and then they'll pop up and you can ask a question on how to do it and then they'll send you a little uh, video or they'll send you some mess uh, information on how to do that it's that simple so that's that one that one let's go on to the next one okay so in the custom field section I just clicked on that custom field you can actually add some custom fields for both accounts and for prospects so on prospects that's obviously people you're being calling right so all you got to do is just come over here and all you have to do is enter the custom field name so um, uh, let's just try that see if it works here web site so I do they have a website I'm going to put in text and I'm going to hit add and what it does is it saves it now and then so that's the, you know do they have a website uh, so that's just a new field right that they can you can I can insert the URL of the website for this particular client being that I'm a web developer and uh, like to put people's current websites and uh, you know that kind of stuff so that's how that works so let's go on to the next thing Okay, so in the billing section, you have four sections here. You have subscription, credit card, invoicing, and dialer credits. Uh, so the, the plan we have applies to us here, the, the, this particular one here. So we don't need to do anything. Other people will have a different plan. That's what they'll be playing, uh, paying according to the system per user per month. And so it's an incredible deal. You know? So um, the other thing is, is that you'll put your credit card in. The reason you're doing that is because you are going to be charged for the, uh, the Twilio stuff, right, for your uh, Twilio um, uh, what do you call it? Costs. So what I did is I went in and I added it, and then I went over here and I put in ten dollars, and there's my. It just lets me know what my credits are, okay? And also it lets me know if I go down to a threshold of like three bucks, it will let me know and to go ahead and re, re uh, uh, to push more money into the platform. So that's how that works. And then the invoicing basically gives you invoices, so you can use that for your write-offs and all that kind of great stuff. So that's how that how that works. And let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so in this section, this is what's called the stages section. You can create stages right here and within the workflow of what you're trying to accomplish. So you have working, cold, bad uh, contact information, replied, non-responsive, interested, not interested, do not contact. So when you're making your calls, you can uh, assign uh, the result of that call within one of these different stages through the process. Now you can also add any stage you want over here just by clicking on a stage and then adding a stage name. Okay, and as simple as that. So, and then account stages. Um, that's for uh, different accounts. So if you have multiple accounts and you want to have them, from what I can from what I can gather, it would be if you had more than one user, uh, you could probably have uh, the accounts uh, like you have open, working, completed, disqualified. Okay, that's for the different accounts. And then opportunities uh, stages. They have qualification, need analysis, proposal, negotiation, won or won or lost. So they're pretty much pretty set up. If you want to make your own adjustments, you can. And uh, that's a wonderful thing about the platform. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I'm in the trigger section, this particular area here. Now, trigger basically is a concept whereby if I, if a client reaches a certain milestone and does something, then I can trigger a series of actions that will happen after they complete those actions, those first actions. It's as simple as that. So, uh, in this in this one here, if uh, if I create a new rule, and I'll just call it whatever I want to call it here, and I can hit this drop down, I can go, go when a prospect uh, is is created. Well, what happens after that? Well, I can go ahead and put their their an email is uh, done, you know, or their first name. If if their first name pulls up, their last name pulls up, or a designation or a phone number, then I can go ahead and equal it to some other action, and then it will trigger that particular other action. Now, I will tell you that I have haven't done this yet so I'll probably come back and do another video that will explain uh, how this works but my suggestion is is just to get back with them once again just click on the the pink looking uh, pop over here and go ask a question and I'm sure they're going to send you information or what you can do is you can just go back in here and type in um, uh, when you open this up originally you can put in keywords and it will um, it will pull up the information based on that particular subject and you can ask it if they're offline so it's that simple so I think uh, I think let's see if there's anything else hold on
Okay, so I'm back to the dashboard. Uh, I think we're done here on this uh, setup sequence on what to do to get set up quickly. I hope that it's been helpful to you. Uh, you know, check my information down below if you'd like. Um, and, uh, you know, perhaps we'll talk in the future. So um, enjoy it. I'll look forward to bring on, bringing on some more videos to help you along the way. And we'll go from there. Once again, my name's Steve Lennon. And uh, enjoy your day. Take care.